Hey guys, it's Lukashen. Welcome to my Let's Play of Chrono Cross. Um, this is a very awesome game, a little bit underrated, I feel. Um, I really love the story, so I'm gonna try to do my best and get through. It's a long game, I'm not gonna lie to you. A lot of dialogue, a lot of story. But um, I think you'll enjoy it. I know I really do. And I'm excited to start. Let's do it! I will not be renaming anybody. We'll just go with boring. And we start with our first cutscene. If you have played this before, and I'm sure most of you have, please don't post any spoilers. I think, you know, that doesn't really need to be said, but just in case. You never know who hasn't played it. Um, and it does have a lot of interesting relation to Chrono Trigger that a lot of people aren't aware of, so let's not spoil it for anyone. We have this mysterious looking castle. And we will always start this uh, first cutscene with your main character, Kid, and a random character always. Pashul, the little dog. What is it, Thurjipu? You look troubled. This is it. There's no turning back now. Oh my god, her lisp. <laughs> oh, it's, come on, Serge. Pashul. Just you wait, Lynx. Today's gonna be the day of reckoning. Say your prayers. Not that it'll do you any good. Heh heh heh. Ha 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 ha. Off we go. So uh, run this way to the left. Don't bother going to the right. Go ahead up here. And you can either fight or run away from these guys. Let's just go ahead and show you how that works. And this will be a little laggy, the transition into the battle. It, there's nothing I can do about it. It just happens. So um, the battle system in this game is a lot different from any other RPG I've played. Um, it does take getting used to. There is quite a bit of uh, detail that goes into it and quite a bit of a learning curve. I don't explain this as well as I should be able to, so I'm just going to go ahead and, and do this. If you need an explanation, I will show you where to go to get one. Or you can also watch uh, Sagemaster 15's first Chrono Cross video. He did a really great explanation on how it works for beginners. So I, I think you should watch that. He explains it a ton better than I do. So sorry about that. And believe me, I don't do it uh, the exact quote-unquote right way. I mean, everybody has a different style to how they want to make this work. So I just kind of do my own thing. So if I totally screw up sometimes, and there probably will be times when I just don't make the right battle choices, don't yell at me too bad, but yeah, feel free to uh, post what you would have done. We win! It, it's not hard at this point. You're grossly overleveled. When we start the actual story, we will not be this leveled. It's just kind of a tiny little intro, getting you a little bit used to the battle scenes and so forth. Okay, come on down here. And then take a ride right up these stairs. This is all pretty straightforward. I mean, you can't you can't get lost in here. Down, down, around into this door, and you're gonna run up to the switch and press X or whatever your action button is to turn this off. This whole intro is probably going to take up most of the movie, so I apologize about that. I'm going to go around this guy. I don't feel like fighting you. Step on this platform and press X. And up we go. 
goodness me. Oi, what the bloody hell just happened? What are we doing out here? Whoa, bugger, we're so high up. Is this thing floating? Yeah, my Australian accent is not good. Did it feel like your body passed through the floor just now? Oh, good god. <laughs> this sure is some fort, eh, Serge? Sorry if I go fast on these. You are right, mate. You've been acting all weird. Who knows what's up ahead, so just stay on your toes, eh? Yes, we will. So just go ahead and walk forward after that, and you're going to get a cinematic cutscene. And just to let you know, I probably will not be talking much, if at all, through any of these cinematics. I'd like everybody to enjoy them. Oh my, that looked a little grim. What was that all leading up to, you ask? Serge? Good morning, Serge. Come on, sleepyhead, get up. That's right, a good old dream sequence, hooray. We were sleeping the whole time. And we wake. We will be starting our day in our little village. A village called Arnie Village. Tiny little ocean town. So when you first start, walk over to your whoa, well, walk over walk over to your bed. Okay. Ah. Press X and he'll duck down and get out his secret savings. 200 gold, okay, not bad. And it's gonna ask you if you wanna rest, you say no. Come on over here to this dark area, hit X again, and you will get a tablet. We'll learn more about those later. And come on outside. I'm gonna talk to mom. Good morning, Serge. And I want to try to talk to as many people as I can for storyline's sake. If it gets really annoying, I might stop. You're finally up. The sun's already reached high noon. By the way, didn't you have plans to meet with Lena this morning? Lena came by to see if you were up, but you, young man, were still off in Never Never Land. You shouldn't break promises like that. Girls can be pretty scary if you make them angry. Isn't that the truth? Let's leave. Alright, I'm gonna stop here, but we're gonna take a look at Arnie Village, and when we come back, we're gonna go see Lena. See you later, guys.